All right, y'all. Let's go. What is good, y'all? It is your girl, Queen B, coming to y'all with yet another reaction. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new and your family and coming back, welcome back. And if you're on this journey, just expanding your knowledge and finding out what the truth is, then you have come to the right channel. I appreciate all of y'all for tuning in, kicking it with your girl. Now, Trump said enough is enough. I am tired of these folks coming for me. Can't get nothing on me. But y'all keep coming for me. So the title of this is Trump sues Michael Cohen for 500 million. Okay, that is right. Set an example for them folks that keep coming for you and can't get nothing on you. Okay, y'all gonna learn today. Today, y'all gonna learn. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in, kicking it with your girl. We finna dive into the video, y'all, and then we gonna chat it up towards the end. Let's get into it. And once again, some breaking news. Newsmax confirming that former President Trump has filed a $500 million lawsuit against his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, according yes, to a should. source familiar with the matter. The lawsuit is unrelated to the case. Now, this is mm. unrelated to the case uh -huh. against Cohen uh, by the man against Cohen or against Trump. Did somebody uh, put this in there? Unrelated to the case has nothing, uh, the, the, supposedly has guessing. nothing to do with the Manhattan DA's by, case. By the Manhattan oh, okay, DA so case so against right. Mr. Different. Trump. Um, Mr. Trump is seeking damages from Michael Cohen in a trial for compensatory, incidental, actual, and punitive losses. The lawsuit writing in the lawsuit says this is an action arising from Cohen's multiple breaches of fiduciary duty, mm. unjust enrichment, conversion, and breaches of contract by virtue of Cohen's past service as Trump's employee and attorney. Now, we know his role with uh, the former president is multi-leveled and may be hard to describe. And, and it often may depend upon how he describes it himself on whatever talk show you're watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Depending he, what his agenda uh, Where he may be strategy. recounting his story. Sure. So, so here with their thoughts, let's bring in Chief Communications Director for the America First Policy Institute let's and go. former Special Assistant President Trump, Mark Lauder, and also columnist for the American Spectator, Jeffrey Lord. Uh, Mark, I'll start with you. Uh, we all know Mr. Trump often uses lawsuits uh, for a reason. Uh, what are your thoughts here? Well, I'm not a lawyer, but uh, I would I would bet he's got a pretty strong case here. I mean, let's remember that Michael Cohen spent years as the lawyer or a lawyer for the Trump organization, mm. and he has now turned around and used all of the secrets, all of the deals, all of the negotiations that he did while he was an attorney for the Trump organization and has made millions off of it, selling books, hawking himself on all the liberal networks, you know, this is attorney client privilege and yeah. obviously I know that you know having worked for the Trump uh, the Trump campaigns you sign non disclosure agreements I think there's going to be many avenues See it just goes to show you y'all when y'all be we we having to sow them seeds and if you're sowing them bad in the long run them seeds going to have to grow no matter what so be careful what you do and I always say don't be burning bridges for someone you may have to run into again. It's really not that serious. This goes to show you like how karma can bite you right back in the butt. And that is what's happening to this man. news here he can pursue and this does not look good at least on the surface of it for Michael Cohen. Yeah Jeff mm. if this reportedly has nothing to do with the Manhattan DA's case and uh, Cohen's involvement in that what might this be about uh, strategically? We know what what the the uh, you know what was read or what was was uh, listed but what do you think this larger strategy could be? I, you know I don't think there is any strategy. I think mm. what you have here is Michael Cohen, I mean, this is just so self-evidently, to me at least, self-evidently dumb. Right. Um, he just got into this, you know, personality thing with his former boss and is using every opportunity he can to lash out at him. And this is the result. I mean, you know, all all employee-employer relationships don't work out. The best thing to do is just leave and, mm -hmm. and go on about your business that's that not bar. what michael cohen chose to do and now he's going to pay a price for it okay see my, and my thing is too y'all like i wish people would really just wake up and see that once they get or at least try to get what they can out of you 
they will chew you up and spit you out on the curve like you never meant anything to them. Is it really, really serious to risk and lose it all behind people that really don't care about you at all? They only care about their agenda and what they need. Like, was it really worth putting a, you know, was it really worth trading your soul for people that don't care or get two cents about you after they done using you for what they needed to use you for? Is it really worth it? No, not at all. Yeah, I, I can't help but think that this is also... Um, in Mr. Trump's mind. And again, we'll get more information on this, but as we're all just kicking it around as we're finding out about this, uh, right. it's like, okay, um, Michael Cohen, uh, you can go to the DA and testify against me. You're going to rue day you did that, and you may want to think about this a little bit because we have, and, and, and like you're saying, Mark, um, you could definitely make an argument whether a, uh, whether a jury buys it or not. Maybe hey, down the real? road another couple of years. Okay. But you're going to have to pay money to defend your... Caught your shots, fad. I know what you're doing. <laughs> Let's get it. Y'all probably didn't catch that, but I did. Okay, really can make up something later on down the road. I want to think about this a little bit because we have, and, and, and like you're saying, Mark, um, you could definitely make an argument whether a, uh, whether a jury buys it or not, maybe down the road another couple of years. But you're going to have to pay money to defend yourself. You're going to have to think about everything you did. And they're going to be digging into your past, and that's not going to help you as far as even being a witness in this particular case Mr. Bragg has. Yeah, you think they're not going to No, and on top of that, I think if you're any of the liberal networks that love to book Michael Cohen, you now have to, you now have to disclose, if you have any journalistic ethics at all, you now have to disclose that he is being sued by the by Mr. Trump before you put him on every single and time. Because clearly no the guy has suit. long had an ax to grind. Now he's being sued over that ax. And uh, so if nothing else, it might get him a little fewer bookings or quite a few fewer bookings on uh, on the liberal mainstream media. Hmm. Yeah, fewer bookings. And also, if the uh, Manhattan DA case against the former president does go to trial at some point, there's already been a lot of doubt cast on Michael Cohen, of course. And this right. would only serve to do more of that, Jeff, I would assume, no as they dig deeper and deeper and deeper. So maybe this only goes to help uh, a move towards dismissing the Manhattan DA case against he, the former president. He has uniquely managed to disqualify Go ahead and himself right now. as a legitimate mm -hmm. uh, witness. Uh, I mean, everybody is going to look at his history here and see that he is about conducting a vendetta against uh, Donald Trump. And that's not going to help his credibility at all. Mm. All right, Mark Lauder, Jeffrey Lord, thank you for your thoughts. Thank Appreciate you. It. I thought I was going to get my Newsmax ending. Y'all know how to do my and outro with them. They ain't give it to me this time, though, y'all. They didn't give me my music so I can rock out with them. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in, kicking it with your girl. It just goes to show you, y'all, like, we can't be sowing these bad seeds. They going to have to come up. You know what I'm saying? I think I read something like he's, you know, uh, he's struggling just to be irrelevant and stuff like that because you chose that path to go down. And again, this doesn't, like they said, they don't have nothing to do with the, you know, New York or anything of that. It just goes to show you when you sow them bad seeds, they're going to have to go up. It's never too late to do the right thing. It's so simple. It's so easy to do the right thing. But yet the world we living in, I get it. I get it. Sometimes we fall short. But if you're one of the ones that know something is not right and you can sleep comfortably at night, I mean, I don't understand how you really can. But that's the problem. If you can really go to sleep at night knowing that something is wrong, it's definitely a problem. 
I appreciate y'all for tuning in, kicking it with your girl. Y'all go ahead and comment in the comment section. Normalizing, bringing real conversation back, y'all. We're going to agree some days. We're going to disagree. But at the end of the day, I see what you're saying. It's all love. I appreciate all of y'all for tuning in. I appreciate all the love and support. Please make sure y'all follow me on Rumble, um, Locals, and Twitter. Queen B Reacts, one word. True Social, Queen Berry, one word. To sign up is free. The app is free. All right. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, kicking it with your girl. Until the next reaction, please do me a favor, y'all. Be safe. Remain safe. Your girl is out.